Hey guys, so welcome to the JB's Nature Walk, and today I'm going to discuss the Osprey Animal Totem from my perspective. So I've written down some notes, it's about seven pages long, so yes, it's probably going to be, this is the longest I've ever written down about an animal totem, so I have a lot of success with the Osprey, so I decided to this channel and decode what it Osprey means to me from my perspective. So we're going to get to it. So the osprey is one of my favorite birds and animals. It's a very special bird and animal to me. The osprey is the one bird that will always look me right in the eye. And I have a knack for photographing it while it's in the air. And it's staring right at me. Like it's telling me something really important. I've had many success with photographing ospreys over the years. And I still have my success to this day photographing ospreys. It's about time that I decode and channel the spiritual meaning of the osprey from my perspective and through my lens. The osprey is a bird of prey that lives in the water. It is a type of hawk of its own species, meaning it is not like its other hawk relatives. The osprey eats mainly fish, even though they will occasionally eat other animals such as birds, snakes, small mammals, and amphibians. They also have an auto-reversible toe that allows them to be flexible with how they grasp their fish prey from the water and they can use their outer reversible toe in position two toes facing forward and two facing backwards while carrying their prey to give them a better grasp and grip on their prey. They carry their fish prey head first to reduce the wind resistance while they are in flight. Everything that this bird does is intentional and already calculated. The osprey is ahead of the game and this is why it's such an exceptional hunter. It is, it's a better hunter than the bald eagle, and you can mainly find bald eagles harassing and chasing away ospreys for their fish, because the bald eagle is not as good a fish hunter as the osprey. The osprey animal totem teaches the lessons of having, of always being prepared before taking action on the project, or before pursuing the goal. Do your research and homework before being fully committed to the pursuit of the hunt. This will save you time and frustrator in frustration later down the line, especially if the end result did not meet your goal. The osprey is a unique character based off of a few traits that I have mentioned about the bird. The osprey totem, animal totem, encourages you to stand out from the crowd and remain confident in yourself no matter what. The osprey has strong, powerful talents for its solid foundation, and this symbolizes the remaining rooted and connected to the earth and walking with confidence and purpose to manifest your material things that you need from the earth. Alright. Ospreys have sharp eyesight that can be pierced through the sun glare. The reason why it has a brown stripe on its eye is because it helps reduce the sun glare whenever the bird looks at the sun. Since this bird lives on water, the water reflects the sunlight very intensely. And this bird needs his brown eye stripe to help see through the bright, intense sun glare. This symbolizes having faith that you're on the right path and never losing sight of your devoted path, even though it might be hard to see it at times. It's almost like the osprey has blind faith that everything will always work out well. Even though the osprey might not have a clear view of his path, I know it knows that it will always come out on the other end and it uses the bright sunlight as its guide towards victory. Ospreys can often be found patrolling seashores, coastlines, waterways, beaches, oceans, and anywhere that's water. This symbolizes staying within your boundaries and letting everyone know what your boundaries are. It's by respecting your boundaries and your neighbor's boundaries. Ospreys enjoy soaring on the air and breeze, riding the air currents and circling over the water looking for a potential fish prey. The osprey knows how to have fun and work at the same time. It encourages you to find something that you love doing, but also makes sure that it can help support you in your life. Ospreys love flying on sunny days with a nice breeze, and this gives them enough light to spot fish floating near the water surface and enough wind to generate for the osprey to take to the skies with ease when they need to. If you want to connect with the ospreys, 
Look for them near a body of water on a nice sunny day with the breeze and watch them soar majestically. This makes them happy and that's the most idealistic time for the ospreys. Since ospreys love sunny weather, this connects them to the sun. The ospreys are solar worshippers. They rise with the sun. This illuminates their connection to the divine mask and energy. The sun represents power, willpower, strength, individuality, ego, health, prosperity, victory, determination, the conscious mind, and happiness. The Osprey encourages you to embody the tributes and influences of the energy of the sun. The conscious mind represents awareness. Awareness of oneself and one's environment allows one to gain power and control over one's life. Be aware is power to the observer. The Osprey hunts at the water for fish, and this symbolizes its connection with the divine feminine energy. Water is tied to the moon. Water represents feelings, emotions, life. Motion, fertility, transformation, metamorphism, and a subconscious mind. The subconscious mind represents your unlocked infinite potential. Tapping into your subconscious mind gives you access to the infinite potential of the universe. The osprey is also a hawk, so it represents the divine energy of the hawk. Hawks represent the divine masculine energy, solar energy, alertness, action, determination, courage, power, victory, sharp focus, purpose, achieving goals, leadership, observance, viewing things from a higher perspective, and awareness. Hawks are tied to the zodiac sign of Leo, and is why they rise with the sun. Leo is tied to the solar plexus chakra, and asserting your personal willpower and boundaries around you. I highly encourage you to learn everything that you can about your solar plexus chakra, and how to unlock its infinite potential. The solar plexus is all about asserting your personal willpower over your reality. And this is also used to assert your boundaries around people within your reality. If you're drawn to Hulk, study the traits of Leo and the symbolism of this sign. I am a born Leo, so I have always been drawn to Hulk specifically. Osprey's home for fish, and the fish is tied to the zodiac sign of Pisces. The sign of Pisces is tied to the planet of Neptune. Neptune is known as the Windy Planet in the Icy Giant. It's one of the older planets, and its orbit is found outside the confining orbit of planet Saturn. And this creates a generational gap between the age of planet Neptune from the younger planets found within the confining orbit of planet Saturn. If you're an ascendant Pisces, you're wise beyond your years. Beyond the orbit of Saturn, there is a whole new world beyond control, seriousness, and root chakra needs. But each planet has their own role to play in the universe. Planet Neptune is tied to the heavens, the sky, and the water. This planet rules birds and anything with wings. Have you ever heard this axiom, having your head in the clouds? This maxim represents a mental state where you are oblivious to what is going on within your reality. And instead, you are focusing on what is going on in the heavens above. This is also tied to Neptune. Of course, it's good to be aware of what's going on above because ultimately that determines what is going to happen below. But you also have to watch over your footsteps as you walk the earth. This is a crucial vital skill to master and to learn from the offspring. As above, so below. As below, so above. The cup value. So let's get back to the fish. Fish represents rebirth, fertility, feelings, emotions, transformation, endurance, connecting with the water element, balance, tranquility. So the fish is a zodiac, sign, zodiac symbol for the zodiac sign of Pisces. Pisces is a dreamer and is linked to the subconscious mind. All of your dreams are stored in the subconscious mind. When an osprey dives in the waters for its fish, it goes after its dreams. The whole scene of viewing an osprey diving in the water to catch a fish is a sign for us to pursue our dreams even in environments where you might feel uncomfortable to pursue them. When an osprey sees a fish, it plunges into the water feet first to grab a fish from the emotional waters of chaos. The water is also tied, the, the water is not the osprey idealistic environment, but it uses it to find fish to eat. The Osprey encourages you to pursue what you want, even when the environment might not be ideal for you. 
Get out of your shell and pursue your dreams. Dive into the emotional waters of chaos and let go of what no longer serves your highest purpose so that you can make room for something that fills in the gaps that you do need in your life. Come out of the situation as a victor and conqueror of the challenge. Only your strong willpower and faith in yourself will help you achieve your desired dreams and goals. The osprey is the only bird of prey that dives into the water completely to grab a fish. The bald eagle doesn't even dive his whole body into the water to grab a fish. It just plucks a fish from the surface of the water with its talons. The osprey is more diligent and courageous than a bald eagle will ever be, and the bald and the osprey is just a hawk. Eagles are tied to planet Jupiter, and that's a topic for another video. The osprey, like many other hawks, are specialized hunters, meaning they specialize in one or a few things. Ospreys specialize in hunting for fish, and if they can't find fish, then they will also hunt reptiles, amphibians, snakes, birds. So the osprey animator is urging you to find a field of study that you love, and then master it so that you can become an expert in the field. Master one craft or field and then move on to the other field and repeat. All hawks are specialists of different things. Some hawks, like the Cooper's hawk, specialize in hunting mainly birds, while another hawk, like the Red hawk, mainly specializes in hunting rodents. Find your niche and become a specialist in that field of work. The hawk animal totem encourages you to stay busy and learning everything that you can in the field of work that you desire to pursue. This animal totem is not for the lazy, and trust me on that. Having a hawk as an animal totem, you definitely need to stay to have product, product, productive goals in place so that so that that will help you advance in your life. If you have a, any hawk as your animal totem, you need to take your field of work very seriously because the hawk surely does. Ospreys ride on thermos and updrafts to ascend to view their reality from a higher perspective in order to find and search for their fish prey. When, osprey, when, when a hawk or any other bird of prey rides the thermals or updrafts to ascend higher in altitudes in the sky, this is symbolic of birds elevating to higher states of consciousness and into higher degrees of higher positive polarities. When you witness a circling hawk, the hawk is letting you know that it's okay to ponder and think before you decide to do something before you take action on accomplishing a project or goal. The circling hawk is reminding you to transcend your reality from a higher perspective and think things through before taking action on the specified goal that you have in mind. Ospreys have an average wingspan of 5 feet and the number 5 symbolizes change, freedom, adaptability, transitions. Wings represent elevation, ascension, travel, movement, freedom, and spirituality. Because of the osprey lifestyle, it will always have to find new ways to adapt to its environment. Number five is tied to planet Mercury, and this planet is associated with knowledge, intellect, science, mathematics, and technology, studying, currency, travel, transition, communication, mass, and energy, and the throat chakra. Ospreys are very vocal birds, and they love communicating, so if you see an osprey on your path that is vocalizing and making calls, it encourages you to speak your mind and truth to the universe. Alright. Empty mouths don't get fed, but open mouths do. During ospreys from different perspectives, you can see how powerful and brilliant this bird really is to have as your animal totem, power animal or spirit animal. I am so lucky to have this wonderful bird in my life, and it's a plus that I'm able to photograph this bird hunting in the wild and just living his life in general. I am able to decode the spiritual meaning of the osprey by viewing different perspectives of his life that is typically viewed in a mundane perspective, and then I transcend the physical reality plane and enter into the mental plane, and I find deeper meaning and understanding that I can grasp from this physical mundane reality. The deeper meaning of metaphysical messages are found within the mundane physical reality plane, because the physical reality plane is the lowest reality plane that we are first introduced as human beings. First is the physical plane, second is the mental plane, and third is the spiritual plane. The goal is to work your way from top to bottom. Let me simplify this even more for you guys. Let's ignore the spiritual plane for a minute. Let's focus on both the mental plane and the physical plane. The physical plane is negative to the mental plane. 
and the mental plane is positive to the physical plane. Why is that the physical plane vibrates at a lower frequency than the mental plane? And because of that, it is negative to the mental plane. Also, another thing, since the mental plane is positive to the physical plane, it automatically follows the mental plane because the mental plane has directive power and control over the physical plane. This is how powerful the positive frequency is. This is why it's so important to keep in mind that what you think dictates what you manifest in your reality. When I provide you information about the Osprey Life History, this is knowledge which resides on the physical plane. When I finally decode the deeper meaning behind the physical, mundane aspect of the Osprey Life History, I have to ascend it into the mental plane where wisdom resides. After I have understood what the deeper meaning of what the Osprey Life History means to me, I have been ascended into the spiritual plane. So knowledge corresponds with the physical plane, wisdom corresponds with the mental plane, and understanding corresponds with the, the spiritual plane. No one has taught me this. I have learned this on my own. And like I have learned everything else in my life. I have decided to share this piece of knowledge, wisdom, understanding with you so that you don't have to try to figure it out on your own. Think of me as your guide, but, but only as your guide on your life journey. The Osprey Animal Totem is so aware of this, and this is why he's such a proficient hunter. Before the Osprey even attempts to dive into the water to catch a fish, it first thinks and believes that it can catch a fish. This is the power of the mind. In order to manifest what you want into reality, start from the top and then work your way down. Start from your mind, then work your way into your reality with your physical plane. This is the key to manifesting what you want without any physical effort on your part. Of course, you need to believe that you can manifest what you want into your life because if you don't, it will not work. This is what the Osprey Animal Totem teaches. Another thing to take note of is discipline. Hawks are superb at being disciplined. It's not always easy being self-disciplined, but it's one of the most efficient ways to progress and advance in your life to the next level. I hope you have enjoyed learning from me and learn from my perspective about what the Osprey and the Totem represents to me. I've basically incorporated both the general spiritual meaning of what a hawk means to me, and I've also included what the spiritual meaning of what the Osprey means to me. Remain focused on your goals and soar to infinite heights like the Osprey. Alright guys, so that is it. I have spent a long time just writing and jotting down those thoughts in my notes. Um, I feel like this video was long over due. I, I've been thinking about doing this since last year actually. But I didn't feel like I had enough pictures, you know, to incorporate this video. But I'm glad I decided to do it today and share with you guys what the spiritual meaning of the Osprey means to me, the Osprey Animal Totem in general. Yeah. So it's it took me it took me months, I'll say, to like write all of this down. Even when I was on vacation, I was kind of just thinking in my head, like, mm, what is the os what else can I get from the Osprey? Stuff like that. So it, it took me a minute to like figure out like how I was gonna write all this stuff, how I was gonna express it to you guys who are listening to this video. And um yeah. Every, everything is it take everything takes time. It's all about doing things in the divine time and just having faith in the process that you will do the best you can during the circumstances. So yeah. Yeah, the Osprey is this is what this is the one bird that'll look at me in the eye. I think I said at the beginning of this video. The one bird and the one time but well not the one time, I actually photographed this bird looking in my eye. I was flying a few times in my life, so I feel like, well, this is the only bird that's doing that, so I might as well do an animal totem. Um, and I had to show you that picture of the bird looking right at me in the beginning of the video, so this is to show you guys that I'm speaking from experience, and you know, and if it is looking right at you like me, then you know there's definitely one of your animal totems, or spirit animal, or power animal, or whatever. Whatever it means to you in your life, um, yeah. 
And this is my favorite image, one of my favorite images. I love how this monster was diving down. It was just um, showing me his fish, basically, you know, it's called his fish. And showing me that um, it, it's pursued his dreams and it got what it wanted, basically. That's the act of pursuing a fish means it's pursuing his goal, his dreams, pursuing what he wants out of life. So every time you see an ospo with a fish, that's that's what it means. Now you guys know. I don't hear a lot of people talk about that. But I decided to talk about it in my opinion. That that's what it means to me. And to me, that's what it means indefinitely. That, that's exactly what it means. That's what that's what it's teaching us. To go after what we want, even in unidealistic situations and environments that might not be our regular environment. We just go for it and, and see what happens. If you miss, just try it again, just don't never give up. And, Pursuing your goals and accomplishing your dreams. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed um, listening to me speak about the Ashley Amateur. All these images are mine, so they're on my website. Um, you can definitely buy your prints from there. Um, you just view my work, buy prints. Um, yeah. So yeah, definitely I have, I have um, books as well that you guys can buy. So buy my books, buy my prints, and links below the description. Um, like, comment, share, and subscribe, guys. And um, I'm also been thinking that I want to start. I don't think I want to post every week anymore. I kind of want to like slow it down a little bit. But this is quite a bit of work on my part. Something like once or twice a month would be okay for me to, to post these videos, where I can just also enjoy life as well. And not be so much focused on work all the time. Cause it takes work to do these videos. So yeah. Like, comment, share, subscribe guys. Um, also donate. And support me what I do. And that's also find the link below the description. Buy my books, my prints. That's also find the link below the description. And um, yeah, so. Um, so the week after this week. I'm probably not going to be posting the videos. So yeah. Just need to take a little break. Now I'll continue posting at least monthly on a monthly basis, I'm thinking. Which is reasonable. Alright guys, so I'll see you probably in a couple weeks. I right, see you guys later.